Now, we do have some more local news, even though it's kind of like national news, I guess, in a way. But to explain, there was a celebrity who is usually seen with Aly Alyssa Milano, big pro-abortion activist, and, and it does have to do with Alabama's new anti-abortion bill, the, the abortion ban, which essentially bans abortion in the state of Alabama in all cases except for the life or health of the mother. And so as a response to this, Emily Radajkowski, uh, I believe is the way to pronounce her name. It's, it's quite long. I'm just having a hard time with last names today. I'm not sure why. But Emily uh, Radajkowski is apparently determined to punish Alabama's Senate. That's right. She is taking it upon herself because she detests this law so much because she dislikes the way it was handled. She has heretofore decided that she is going to punish Alabama's Senate and specifically, according to her, the 25 white men, those evil, evil white men, and they're evil because they're white and because they're men. These evil white men that passed this law, she is going to make sure that they feel her wrath. And how is she going to do this? By posting a picture of herself naked. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And, and so to give you an idea of how effective this would be, I'm going to go ahead and show you not the picture that she posted, but a picture of uh, the model Emily Radajkowski. So that's her. Very fetching lady, you can tell. And believe it or not, that was the tamest picture I could find of her. I mean, it was very difficult to find a picture of her where she wasn't basically half naked already anyway. But she posted a picture that left very little to the imagination. I'm not going to show it on this program simply because this is a family show and I understand that, you know, does, nobody needs to see a woman dressed like that anyway. But... Really, the only thing that she's wearing in the picture are her own hands and a strategically placed flower petal. And somehow this is supposed to punish the men who voted in favor of the abortion ban. I, all right, I don't really see how that's punishment. By the way, I am curious about how she's going to punish the women that supported this, specifically the ones in the state of Alabama. You had Terry Latham, for example, the chair of the GOP here in Alabama. Uh, you had Terry Collins, who is the person that actually brought the bill forward in the House of Representatives, Kay Ivey. Not sure how she's going to punish them, but I mean, based on the way that she punished the senators in Alabama, I would imagine it has something to do with like, I don't know, free candy, uh, <laughs> maybe a new car. I don't know. Uh, but it, I mean, it's a heck of a punishment. I'm just saying. But nonetheless, the idiocy of, of that punishment, boy, she really showed them uh, <laughs> the idiocy of the punishment they're going on. This is a person that has a history of pro-abortion activism. She was arrested. And I'll tell you why I'm using the air fingers quotes there. She was arrested outside the hearing of Justice Brett Kavanaugh, for example. And ironically, there specifically she actually asked to be arrested. There's video of this. The police officer basically asked her if she would like to be one of the people that was arrested. So she consented to this so that she could be able to say that she was arrested outside Brett Kavanaugh's hearing, which I don't know if she understands the history of civil liberties and activism, but it's not really the same thing as for example, having dogs turned on you or having police officers shoot fire hoses at you. Yeah, not not the same thing as being asked politely by a police officer if you would like to be arrested. Not really a one-to-one -one comparison there. But nonetheless, I mean, she's a, a famous model and, and people, you know, know her and she has a platform, she has a voice. I don't know why she chooses to uh, bring down the house or bring down the her wrath by showing naked pictures of herself considering that she's a very attractive woman. Now, Almost naked pictures of, let's say, Lena Dunham or Hillary Clinton or Ruth Bader Ginsburg. See, that's punishment. That would be punishment for the men that voted. So I think Roda uh, Zagowski is, is she's just doing it wrong. <laughs> if you want to punish men for behavior that you believe is incorrect, 
you got to find somebody other than you to post the naked pics like the, you know, Nancy Pelosi naked pictures. That would be something that punishes men and threw up in my mouth a little bit just saying that. But nonetheless, th that would be definitely the way that you would want to punish the the senators. But I do find it ironic that this woman apparently is accusing men and the patriarchy of sexualizing women and yet she's posting pictures of herself basically showing off her almost completely naked body. I mean, that's about as close to naked as you can get without being quote unquote fully naked. She was obviously naked in the picture. They just, you know, worked it to where you couldn't see everything. But I, I mean, the, the irony here is that the women that are the pro-abortion activists are the ones that are constantly yelling, well, don't sexualize me. Well, you're sexualizing yourself. Is it wrong for men to sexualize women? Yes, of course it is. I'm soon to be a 30-year-old virgin, and I've talked about this many, many times. I, I don't believe in sex before marriage. What's hilarious is they would say people like me that are pro-life and believe that you ought to have you ought to have responsibility coupled with sex, that sex isn't just something that you do for fun, that it's something that you engage in a covenant, and your body engages in the covenant whether you choose to or not, but you engage in a covenant, you, you mutually agree to take care of the person that you're having sex with, and you, you do so in a way that it is a mutually beneficial relationship that you take care of her and any children that might result from that intercourse. But they're saying, I'm the one sexualizing women, and that she's not. Think about the ridiculousness of that for a while. Obviously, I believe in what I'm saying. I practice what I preach because I'm living it. She's saying, don't sexualize women. By the way, here's a picture of me where you can see everything. You, you can't really sexualize anybody more than she's already sexualized herself. Again, is, is it wrong for men to do it? It's absolutely wrong for men to do it. It's wrong for men to lust after women, to have evil thoughts in their mind about doing things with them, yes, that is morally incorrect. But that also does not excuse you sexualizing yourself. You know, it's wrong for you to steal, but it's wrong for other people to steal too. You can't just with a blanket statement say, because they're men, it's wrong for them to do it, but because I'm a woman, it's okay when I do it. That's subjective morality, that's situational morality, and it's wrong when people on the left do it, it's wrong when women do it, it's wrong when people on the right do it, it's wrong when men do it. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist, which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.